Hi, I have been waiting for almost a month to open my Olive Midori because I wanted to do an unboxing for you. It was requested on Instagram when I first showed that first shipment of Olive Midori we got. Now, we are set to get another shipment of Olive Midori. They have been kind of doling out parts of vendors' orders slowly. I think they're doing it intentionally. They're restricting the numbers that they're releasing of this notebook intentionally. They really want it to be rare. And I think even though they know they could make more money if they flooded the market with more, they're just not willing to do that. So that's why it's been kind of hard to get. We are expected to get another part of our order this month. And what I'm doing is I'm recording this video of the unboxing so that you can see it. I'm going to release it on the same day that we get that next shipment. So that if you are watching this video when it has gone up on my channel, you will know that we have just launched it. Now, if you have emailed me asking to be notified, you should have received an email from me by now. And if not, I'm sorry, please check your junk mail because sometimes they go in there. Uh, all right, so I don't know, should I open the notebook first? Should I open the pen first? Truth be told, this is my second pen. I lost the first one because I think I didn't tie it securely enough, but I love the fact that you can wear this limited edition olive brass pen on this lanyard around your neck. Sounds dorky, but when you're in my field, which is pens, it's just necessary, okay? I love it. So here is the olive pen close up. I should say here is the back of the packaging of the olive pen close up. <laughs> I don't remember it being this hard to get out the first time. Jeez. Okay, there we go. And here is, what should I tell you about this? It takes the same refill as all the other Midori brass pens. You may or may not know that that's an olive, uh, sorry, olive, <laughs> an Oto insert inside of it. So here is your cord. Now, I need to learn some kind of military knot especially because this is supposed to be an outdoor an outdoor thing. This the olive edition is meant for travelers who like to be in the wilderness. Did you know that? So anyway, this goes like this. Of course, you could add other things on it. You don't have to put it on here. No one's forcing you. So if you think that's the dorkiest thing you've ever heard of, don't worry about it. You don't have to do that. The pen is gorgeous. So what I was saying is the insert, that pen refill, is actually made by Oto. So you can buy the Midori brass pen refill or you can buy um, the Oto refill that is equivalent, which I will link below. I will link both of those refills below. Because then you know one's out of stock you can get the other all right so that's the brass pen it did come in that I think they did a really good job on the packaging I really like it okay so setting the brass pen aside now I think they sent us a big like a bigger quantity of brass pens like compared to the to the notebook quantity and so we still actually do have some brass pens in stock although I cannot guarantee that when this video goes up we will still have them in stock because even though they're sending us more notebooks and more of these, they're not yet sending us more of the pens because they sent us so many in the first shipment. So I just want to say that. Now, let me talk a little bit about the pen holder. Okay, now the pen holder is the Olive Edition leather. It's of course the medium size because almost nobody wants the small size. That thing is so small, you know what I'm talking about. It's okay for like a pin clip or like the skinniest clip in the world. Or if you have a lot of patience to like eventually get the leather stretched out. But so I'm, of course, this limited edition is the medium size. 
You can see that olive color. What's going on here? All right. This is kind of a matte. What do they call that? Like a pewter color silver. I am blinking on what you would call this color. Please let me know. <laughs> now what I really like about the olive pen holder is that it looks good with all of the different leather colors. Now I wish I had in reach of me my other Midori because I would like to show you how awesome it looks with the camel and the brown and the black. You can imagine it. So the pen holder, you don't have to pair with the, the olive notebook. I would just, it was one of the, my, the first thoughts I had when I saw it. Okay, here we go, olive edition. Olive is one of my favorite colors. High Tech C used to make the color olive and sadly it was discontinued years and years ago, but it was a very sad day. And no, I'm not going to post another silly, overdramatic video that's supposed to be half-joking about how sad I am about a pen because people really didn't like me being sad about the pen. Okay. So let's unbox this. I'm just as excited as you are right now because really this is the first, oh my gosh, even though I shipped out like how many of these, I, this is the first time I've seen it in person. In fact, I should be a little bit more excited. <laughs> okay. I'm peeking at it. Okay, okay. Now I know what. I had a customer email me and say she thought her started out a little bit more scratched than normal. And I am noticing things like that. But what I'll say is the marketing materials they sent me on this really emphasized that it's supposed to be more, the most rugged one they've had. Are you able to see that clearly? Do you kind of see? I, I, my personal feeling is that they're doing that on purpose. I mean, the Midoriers are meant, the Midoris are meant to scratch up anyway, but it's almost like they're picking more rugged looking leather at the beginning of the process. And maybe even intentionally roughing it up a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you received the Midori and what do you think about? about your olive Midori in terms of like, does it seem more rugged? It's, it's definitely, you know, I would call it a brown green. I expected it to be more green. It's really, you know, I, Oh, it's gonna be really cool. I like this one way more than the blue. But I've talked, you know, a lot on my channel about how, in general, I don't like blues. I like greens and browns. So, you know, and I think I, I like warmer colors rather than cooler colors. A lot of people forget that they can totally keep this elastic that's part of the package. So don't forget that when you get this. This is informative paper. I'm just kind of holding it here for a while in case you want to look at it. It's in English and Japanese, which is really nice. A lot of people are intimidated about how to set up your Midori. I do have a video on that. I'll post it below. It's really much easier than you'd think. Really glad they went with this matte, like oxidized looking silver color. I think, yeah. So what I should do is put these all together so that you can see what it looks like, right? I'm being silly. So
So depending on how you like to use your pen, you can totally go like this. Some people just will use, like clip their pens like that. You totally don't need a clip for your Midori. You could go like this. I do that all the time. Even when I have one of these, I do that because it's quick. Sometimes you see people going like this kind of at the edge, like that. You could wear the clip lower. Oh yay, I got my first. I love scratching up my Midori. It's kind of the point of it. You could wear the clip lower and then have, you know, your pen ride like this, so it's a little easier to get in and out. It sort of depends on, are you wanting this clip to secure the pen when you throw it in your bag, then use it more like this, or if you just want the pen there and want quick access to it. That'll sort of depend on, on how you use it. So, let me take this out. Yeah, so, it is very interesting. I am I am assuming they're doing this kind of thing on purpose since um, since they wanted this to start off looking more rugged. And it, it is, you know, scratching very easily, just like my brown one did. I've had people come into our retail shop and ask me, can I buy your display? Because it's already scratched up. And I just explain, look, it's gonna scratch up really fast. Like, you don't need to buy a pre-scratched up one to get that cool, like, worn-in look to it. So, just one more time, I'll show the pen. This is my favorite Midori pen that they've, that, you know, that I've known them to have be available to, to the US authorized vendors. I know there are some pretty cool ones that are like Japan exclusives, but I really like this one. All right, I wanted to make one more shop notice because I had to fit it in somewhere. And that is that our t-shirt, has been, um, I wouldn't say redesigned, but I made a little bit of a change to our t-shirt because I, I wanted to, so this is a toddler size, that's why the logo looks so big. This is the, if you've seen on my Instagram, my son wearing our t-shirt, he's wearing <laughs> one of these. So I had the toddler size available, but what I did with the adult sizing was, this is a large. What I did with it was had them take off the arch. And even though the arch is so cute, I found that, you know, it hits on women's chest in, I felt like an unflattery way or a way that like just kind of made your chest look even bigger. And granted, there are some women who want that and some don't. And, you know, one of the, one feedback I got from a customer was how comfortable she thought the shirt was even in plus size. And basically she was saying like t-shirts often you find that they don't fit like t-shirts like this like store t-shirts They're not comfortable if you're plus size and she said our shirt was so comfortable And I saw her like posting about it on some other social media page So I felt like oh wow, she really likes our shirt and let's make so let's make our shirt more like female friendly, especially if you're busty. So I hope that's not TMI, but it just is what it is. And so what we have right now is some of our sizes are still available with the arch. So if you still like that arch, we do have you know a lot of our sizes left with the arch, but you can see in the drop down we have the without arch option now, which I feel like will please some people. It is still the same awesome tri-blend, super soft, feels like your favorite old gym shirt t-shirt. I don't love t-shirts and I love our t-shirt. I mean, obviously I'm biased, but. And then we have, we have the, the toddler one, the regular adult one, and then we also got some youth sizes too. And our neighbor, Lily, who is amazing, is actually modeling this on our online store if you wanna see what it looks like on a 13-year-old teenager, or preteen, what do you, 13-year-old is a teenager, right? So she is 13, I feel like she's on the small side and she's wearing a youth large. 
So the youth sizes, small, medium, large, that just gives you kind of an idea. If you've got an older teenager who is not on the small side, size, I would say go into the adult sizes, like with an extra small or a small. Okay, if you have any questions about the t-shirt or the new design, just let me know. I'm totally open to feedback. And let me know below what you think of the new Olive Midori that will be available once again, but just for a very limited time. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.